Good morning. This is the Ramblings of an Undisciplined Mind podcast for Saturday, December 12th, 2015. Uh, today's LASIK day, so I'm looking forward to getting that done. I'll talk more about that on Monday. So yesterday I mentioned that I was going to Krispy Kreme, and I thought I'd talk about my love affair with Krispy Kreme. It was probably about 15 years ago or so, give or take. Uh, we went to Orlando for a family vacation. And we were looking for places for breakfast. And just, just down the road, you know, from our hotel was this Krispy Kreme Donuts. Which I wasn't really aware of. I think I'd, I'd seen the logo before, but I didn't, you know. They're a donut shop. You know, donut shop. I eat our donut shops. I like donut shops, but, you know. So we walk in, and, you know, they got this, if you haven't been there, they got this big glass wall so you can see into their kitchen. And they've got this big machine where they put dough in one end of varying types, and the dough kind of rises and falling falls in this section that is on like a little trace, and they just kind of go up and down. Um, so it takes a certain amount of time. There's probably like a little bit of heat going on in there or something. It's kind of a proofing station. And then once they get out of that, they're proofed and they get dumped in, they get dumped in oil to, um, to fry. And they've got an automatic mechanism. They'll flip them over halfway through and, and, and they're getting herded along. They've got, you know, they got things that are pushing the donuts along and they flip them at a certain point and then they come out of the oil and they go through the glazing station. <sighs> They got this. They got this thing where the, the glaze just falls down in, a, in an unbroken sheet, and it just covers the donuts. And they go by, and then they come out on, on the conveyor belt, and the workers there will the workers there will um, you no know, grab them and box them up. Do what it is. Do what it is you do with donuts. Uh, they make other donuts, but. Their, their, their signature glaze is my favorite. Well, actually, it's the only one I've ever eaten because that's what I started with. Um, and it's just so spectacular. I've never tried anything else. When they're making the glazed donuts, they have a hot now light that's lit on the outside of, their, of the building. So you know that, hey, they're making those donuts and it's worth it. To be there when they're making them hot because they are spectacular hot and I'm not talking burning your mouth hot but you know because they've had time to cool on the rack but the other thing that's cool is when you walk in before you've ordered anything before you have bought anything if they're making those things hot they put one in, in some of that tissue paper that they use for food service and they hand it to you and you get to eat one for free just to start with and it's heavenly oh so that's good stuff. So it's a place I love to go. I don't I don't get there very often. They're just they're just far enough away here that you know I don't think about going down there very, all the time. I mean it's not that far. It takes about eh, 10, 15 minutes depending upon traffic and day of the week and whatnot. What what route I choose to go. <sighs> it used to be when I worked on the other side of town, there was a there was a Krispy Kreme bakery that was at a decent quasi halfway point between here and home. And I would stop there. And the thing was, I would leave work about four and I would stop there and they were making donuts at that time. I don't know if they're like making donuts to take to the grocery stores and the gas stations in the morning but they were making donuts. And so, you know, I'd walk in, I'd get my free donut, I'd order a dozen, and then I would eat my dinner. I would have four or five of those things in the car while they were still warm. And then when I got home, my wife would have hers. <laughs> uh, yeah, they're good stuff. They are good stuff. So if you haven't tried Krispy Kremes and you like donuts, uh, I, would, I would highly recommend them. They are not cheap on the calorie scale. I'd, I'd had my one free donut and I'd eaten three from the dozen I bought. 
and I was contemplating having another one, my fifth donut. And I thought, you know, I should look and see, look at my little, my little calorie counting app and see how many calories these suckers are. And they were 200 each. And since I'd already just scarfed down half of my 1,600 calories for today, I thought, mm, probably better not. So I, I, I may do with only four of them. But then I, I had some for this morning. You can approximate the fresh from the fryer um, experience by nuking them anywhere from like 8 to 12 minute, uh, minutes, yeah, seconds. Um, it's not quite as good, but it's close. It is close. Much better than just eating them cold. So, uh, yeah, so I'm sitting there. I'm mowing on my donuts yesterday, and this woman comes in, and she's asking the woman behind the counter, you know, what donuts did they have that didn't have glaze on them or any sugar in them? And I'm thinking to myself, you are in a temple to glaze, and you're asking that question? I posted that on Twitter and Facebook, and somebody said, uh, was a crime in the back, it says, that's called a bagel shop. And it's like, amen. You know what? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I was like going to a, to a steakhouse and saying, well, I don't like meat, so what else do you have? And the thing is, they typically have stuff, but it's like, you're missing the point. You're missing the point. Anyway, uh, I'm going to do a short one, because I've done some long ones here, so... Uh, I will be back on Monday, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.